Kazakhstan has become the third largest global mining center after the US and China. The top three countries contributing to the Bitcoin hash rate continue to eat away the share of other players such as Malaysia, Germany and Iran. For over a year, the oil-rich Central Asia country of Kazakhstan has maintained its position as the third biggest contributor to Bitcoin mining after surpassing Russia back in February 2021. As of January 2022, Kazakhstan contributed to 13.22% of the total Bitcoin hash rate, positioned right after the historical leaders the United States 37.84% and China 21.11%. The International Energy Agency, which is co-founded by the European Union, highlighted Kazakhstan's heavy reliance on non-renewable energy such as oil over 50%, coal 28% and natural gas 17% until 2020. Most coal is used for electricity and heat generation while most oil is used by final consumers, particularly in road transport. Speaking at the International Forum Digital Bridge 2022, President Kasim Jumar Takayev shared his vision to make Kazakhstan a leader in the field of digital technology, cryptocurrency ecosystem and regulated mining. We are ready to go further if this financial instrument shows its further relevance and security it will certainly receive full legal recognition, Takayev stated. Block has started developing a new generation ASIC miner. The company is hiring heads of Bitcoin mining policy, communications and partnerships, according to several job postings published to LinkedIn over the past two weeks. In a job advertisement posted to LinkedIn on Saturday for a test hub lead, the firm said its mining team develops Bitcoin mining ASIC, Bitcoin mining RIN and associated system software and infrastructure. The test hub, according to the ad, will host Block's mining hardware and will be used to test the hardware and software and the overall operational issues, power, cooling, dust, restart, performance, monitoring, connectivity to pool of the mining system. The firm is also hiring product and engineering talent to develop the next generation of mining ASIC and to build its firm mining rig and future mining rig product lines. It also has several positions related to wallet design. Block revealed its Bitcoin hardware wallet this past spring. Formerly known as Square, Block has made a huge bet on Bitcoin and decentralized finance. Warner Brothers released NFT based on The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Film company Warner Brothers has entered into a partnership agreement with the Alluvio blockchain platform to create its own metaverse. This was reported by the portal The Verge. As part of the collaboration, the company will release The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring as NFT. The token will contain an extended version of the picture in 4K resolution. Solution. The mystic and epic sets are available for purchase. In addition to the film, they include additional materials from the film and several interactive galleries with locations from the tape and collectible virtual items that will need to be collected while watching. The Lord of the Ring, The Fellowship of the Ring is the first part of a trilogy directed by Peter Jackson. Its release took place in 2001. The film has been re-released twice in 2011 on Blu-ray and DVD and in 2021 in 4K resolution. Warner Brothers also stated that they plan to release the other films as NFTs on the new platform in the future. Global adoption of the cryptocurrencies in the world in 2022 top 10 countries. Compiling any ratings is a thankless task, subjective and based by default. The rating of countries most friendly to cryptocurrency, which we want to offer you, is no exception. Emerging markets dominate the Global Cryptocurrency Adoption Index. Of the top 20 countries, 18 had lower or higher average incomes.
Hong Kong will have its own Orums stable token. Hong Kong authorities have decided to issue their own stable token backed by the national currency of this autonomous region of China. The decentralized financial system will be managed by the nodes of commercial and state banks based on consensus reconciliation of gross deposit balances. The project was named Orum. The ecosystem was developed by the Central Bank of Hong Kong together with the Innovation Center of the Bank for International Settlements. The presence of international institutions will make it possible to quickly integrate the stablecoin, which acts as CBDC into the interbank settlement system. Hong Kong expects Orum to become the main means of payment for import and export transactions. The move will streamline operations by speeding up shipments and receipts for mainland China.